This is uh, my pitch for my uh, music video. Uh, the aim is to that I'm going to create a music video based on the song BLP by Frankie Stew and Harvey Gunn. Uh, the genre of the song is hip hop with rap in it. Uh, target audience and people in this school, uh, due to the language uh, and it being a uh, you know, rap being in the song, the target audience will be probably 15 to 30 years old. Um, as the band is white, which is unusual with hip hop, uh, it'll have to suit a much larger demographic instead of just maybe the usual fans of hip hop. Uh, I, since the song has a lot of references to drugs, so I'm going to have to make sure that there is no references to drug abuse, I think that way it can't be offensive or mimicked by anybody. Then I will have a mature warning. There should be a mature warning if this was to be ever broadcast because of the language. Uh, but a censored version could be made. So then it could be a show for the watershed and for internet viewing. Uh, I'll, I'll have to make sure that none of the explicit language has been, is shown in type if it was to appear in the video. Uh, if there is to be anybody that I need to film in this, they all, I will need to make sure I have their permission to be able to film them and to use it for this project. And any images that I will use will be royalty free. Uh, some conventional uh, videos that you see in hip hop, such as Billy Smalls and Snoop Dogg, usually have a lot of jewelry, bling, and girls which like you know inappropriately dressed or dancing around them and it's usually a lot of it tends to show that they have a more lavish lifestyle than you know, average people would. and unconventional ones like public enemy and beast boy where public enemy uses uh, you know, a political imagery like protests and stuff usually more trying to promote equality between races Boys being white is quite, like I said earlier, quite unusual for white hip hop. Plus, they don't usually have jewelry and stuff in their music videos. Usually, it's them kind of messing around, really just in costume. Uh, my concept will be having visuals that follow the beat of the song, similar to how, uh, like, the segments in Fantasia will gradually build up towards the climax on the, on the, of the song. Uh, I'll have an anonymous character in the video to try and link it to the genre, the, the genre of the song. And when, as the song reaches its peak, peak, there'll be layers, like lots of layers and lots going on, and then eventually, as it dies down, they'll fade away. The, the unique selling point will be the technology of the combination of uh, green screen marketing drops and using uh, flash animations. Uh, some similar and existing uh, examples would be like Boom Boom Power by Black Eyed Peas, where it has anonymous characters dancing in sync with one of those. This is similar in Dark Punk Around the World. Uh, my, one of my main inspirations for these drops was Niles Barkley's Crazy Music which it combines uh, real life people who did the ink drops themselves in the style of Rorschach ink was that drop okay. and uh, there's High Sin which was like an animated graffiti or like art drawing in that uh, was an inspiration as well it's Lily Allen's London original which has fast clips of Cityscape which I plan to have appear in and Coldplay is similar of animated drawing, but they use more of start stop, which is different from like what I probably would do, but it's more the animation of the drawing than the story. Uh, this is my storyboard. Uh, 
the blank is where it still needs to have been improved upon. You know, where I'm going to put more on the play in that section. But that's more or less the idea of how I plan for the music video to go, depending on each area of the music. Uh, the budget will be pretty low, as all the image I use will probably will be free, and stock footage will be my own. And any equipment or studios that I need to use, I can they'll be available to me here at the college. Uh, probably the only thing that will cost will be petrol for car journeys to location shops, which is my you know, when I have to film on location. And uh, this is the production schedule for from the beginning of the development of the final project. Cool. Okay. Um, I mean, it's, it feels like you've got quite a clear idea. Um, <clears throat> how does how does it link to like the research? that you've done? Um, while I was researching like connection between visuals and sound and uh, like I said like things like Fantasia where it's based on classic music and it's what they saw when they listened to the music and I, I, they usually portray it like nearly every segment portrays it starts off quite low key with not a lot happening and then as it gets firmer and further lots more happen and uh, a similar thing with was with uh, Rabbit in Your Headlights, Uncle Music Video, where as it gradually gets towards its climax, it builds up more. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a technical term for that? Uh, I can't remember if, yeah, if there is one. Yeah. Okay. I think it's synesthesia. Yeah, I think that, yeah. Yeah. Historically, is there like other art movements that have done, that have like considered relationships between visuals and, and audio? Uh, I'm not sure, I can't really remember. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think it goes back yeah. to like Bauhaus and, yeah. and stuff like that. I think like pop art as well might have some. Kandinsky yeah. looking at like yeah. colours and shapes and, yeah. you know, notes having particular kind of colours yeah. and things like that. Is that something that's worth exploring or, is, yeah. or uh, have you explored it? Have um, you considered why you would, you, I think you had like grey, black and yellow in yeah. there. Why yellow? Like uh, a particular sound that just felt yellow to you and why? I or? think that a lot of the time that is more just seeing around that I've seen yellow kind of combined with grey. Uh, it kind of has that, gives that extra urban feel to it. So in terms of representing the sound, what, what is it um, that you're doing? Are you looking at the notes and then just editing to it? Or do you have particular shapes that you think suit kind of certain sounds? Um, or There's some like animations which probably will be set to certain sounds because that's what it kind of reminds me of. And, um, so they don't look like the sound. No, they don't look like the sound, but when, when it happens, it kind of fit, it fits in with the sound of that, at that particular and uh, kind of have like dancing in it, you know, by dancing. Well, why, why would you put dancing in it? Like, that's such a, uh, a strange thing to do. Because, well, it's against the convention really, kind of, that's what will draw attention to it. People will be like, well, not very, you never really see dancing in you know, particular dancing you think with the music. It's not really considered a dance track, but if people saw that, they might think. So you think it 